All right, this video is a, a lesson on how to use Weebly uh, to build your own free website. Now, I'm already logged in. Now, in order to get to this step, you're going to need to set up a free account. In order to set up a free account, you're going to need to use one of your emails. It needs to be an email that actually works. So, one of your uh, Hotmail, Yahoo, Google uh, accounts. If you don't have an email account, then you need to get one before you do this. Uh, Google is probably the easiest way to go, get a Gmail account. So once you have an email, you put your email in, you put your password in, and then the first thing you should do is in your phone, uh, in a Word document, or in an Excel spreadsheet, uh, put the information in there. Okay, so put what you use as your email and as your password. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to get back in to work on your website. So now, once you're in, you can then add a site, okay? And it's asking, what do you want to do? What's your focus? And for the school, for, you know, for classroom projects, site is fine. And then they want you to choose a theme. Now, you can change your theme daily if you want to. So don't take too much time to pick one now. You can take a few minutes, and then you can alter it down the road. You're probably going to want one where the menu is at the top. That allows you more room all over your page to do more stuff. Okay, and the pictures that come with the themes are changeable. So whatever you want your website to look like, just understand you're not stuck with the picture that you get. You're looking more for color and style. So let's say I'm going to choose this one. And again, you're not stuck with this. So you can build your, old, your entire site and then change the theme afterwards and it doesn't mess anything up. You're going to want to choose a free one. Okay, so choose this option right here. And understand that when you choose your www, it's going to have Weebly.com at the end. Not a big deal, okay? Otherwise, you need to pay with a visa, which if you're a student watching this video, that's just not necessary. So here you'd want to pick a name. Understand your teachers are going to see this. Your parents are going to see this. So make it school appropriate. And make it appropriate to maybe what you're doing. So here I'm teaching a lot of business classes. So... I'm just going to use something uh, that I'm hoping isn't taken. So I'm going, I'm misspelling business on purpose. All right. And right away, this is available. It's telling me. So I can use this business class and then hit continue. And here you can watch an instructional video. Um, you can do this if you want, but uh, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to try and teach you some of the stuff myself. All right. The next thing you should do is don't worry about how your site looks. I realize this isn't you, okay? Um, you should build your pages first. Now, leave the home page alone, okay? Don't, don't change the home page. It needs to be home. What you want to do from here is you want to add some pages. Now, depending which course you're taking, that will determine which pages you add. So uh, let's say for my, my grade 9 uh, computer apps course, I'm going to want them to build pages, I want them to build a digital binder. So I want grade nine. And then that's it. Just grade nine and then add another page. Standard page. And then grade 10. Add page. Standard page. Add page. And grade 12. Add page. Standard page. I'm probably going to want to delete about and contact and here's the option here so I'm going to click once I'm going to delete that yes I do and I want to delete that yes I do now for my grade nines I'm going to want them to build other pages for all their courses especially mine so I'm going to want to add page and one of them is going to be called computer apps and then I'm going to want them to add the other three courses that they may have this semester. However, I want computer apps to fall under grade nine. So this is what you do. You simply click and you drag this and I bring it in a little bit. And now that's going to be a drop down. And now let's say that another class they have is uh, English at page and they might have math at page and then maybe history. Oh, wait a minute. I don't even think they have history in grade 9. So let's do geo. And then when you're done, oh, we're not done. So what I want to do now is I want to bring English and line it up here. 
math, line it up here, and geo, line it up here. So in grade nine, they have four courses. So now I can go save and edit. And right away, you've got your bar up here, you've got home, and if you hover, I'm not even clicking, I'm just hovering, and this drops down, and now they can go and they can start working on the computer apps page. That's a fast and easy way to get started. And typically, on the first day, this is what I'm looking for. Um, if you finish early, then you'd probably want to edit the image. Now, before you can edit the image, which means change the image, like bring in a new image, you would probably want to go to Google and find an image that you want on your page, or you'd want to download your own page um, and save that picture on your drive. So save the picture in my documents. This way, when you go to edit image, you can pick the photo from your documents. So, um, if you click on change image, you're going to get their menu. And their menu has a bunch of pictures that are actually preset to the exact perfect size. Uh, but if you don't like their images, you can, of course, bring in your own. But take a look at what they've got first. They've got some really cool images. But if you insist on bringing in your own, you can do that. So you go upload, and then from your computer. And then this will bring you to your documents. Okay, and typically, hopefully, you've saved something into here before you started. Otherwise, that's what you got to do. And let's say you want this one, and then you can hit open. And here it is in the back. You may have to do some resizing, though, right? Because this might be a little bit big. So here, position fill. If I go center, it's a little bit smaller. So you may have to do some tinkering in here. Uh, you may also have to go back to your original image and resize it on your own, all right? So that's a bit of an advanced concept that I wasn't planning on getting into right away, but I realize some of you may be done this part quickly, and you may want to start tinkering with your website, and you might want to start personalizing it, and that's fine. You can do that. So that's the introductory lesson to how to get your website started in Weebly.